We've all been asking the same question. What does the future of artificial intelligence demand from the hardware that powers it? And more importantly, could we design a machine optimized for this work that would make it soar? NVIDIA, the long-standing titan of AI hardware, just faced its biggest market drop ever, losing a staggering $600 billion in value. The reason? A groundbreaking new AI chip has emerged, crushing NVIDIA's GPUs and outpacing them by an astonishing 57 times in AI performance. This isn't just a minor upgrade, it's a seismic shift in AI computing that could redefine which companies and countries control the future of artificial intelligence. At the heart of this revolution is DeepSeek R1, an advanced AI model renowned for its unparalleled reasoning capabilities. But while DeepSeek has been making waves, the real game changer is Cerebra Systems, a company that has proven GPUs might no longer be the best option for AI. Cerebra's new wafer-scale AI processor is delivering 1,600 tokens per second while running DeepSeek R1, a speed NVIDIA's GPUs simply can't match. If you thought GPUs were the backbone of AI, think again. This could change everything. But what exactly is DeepSeek? Why is this AI model causing such a stir? And how did Cerebras manage to outpace NVIDIA by such a massive margin? Let's dive deep into the details. The Rise of DeepSeek R1 Efficiency. A new era of According AI reports, reasoning for years. Just AI models have focused on generating text, images, and code based on patterns. Models like ChatGPT and Gemini have become household names, but they operate on a relatively simple premise, predicting the next word in a sentence or the next pixel in an image. DeepSeek R1, however, is different. It specializes in reasoning. Instead of just predicting the next word, it processes multi-step logical tasks, making it far more advanced than traditional models. DeepSeek R1 is built to solve complex problems, analyze information, and provide deeper insights, skills that could transform everything from scientific research to corporate decision-making. But what's even more surprising is its efficiency. According to reports, DeepSeek operates at just 1% of the cost of its U.S. competitors. While companies like OpenAI and Google are spending billions to refine their AI models, DeepSeek has found a way to achieve similar performance at a fraction of the cost. This efficiency has made DeepSeek a rising star in the AI world, but there's a catch, one that has kept many companies from adopting it. DeepSeek is developed in China, this means that any company using DeepSeek's API is sending data straight to Chinese servers. Given ongoing concerns over data security, government regulations, and geopolitical tensions, many businesses have been hesitant to integrate DeepSeek into their workflows. This is where Cerebras comes in. The company has found a way to host DeepSeek R1 entirely on U.S. servers, keeping sensitive data within American borders while offering unmatched AI speed and efficiency. But how is Cerebras pulling this off? The answer lies in its breakthrough AI chip, a piece of hardware that's fundamentally different from NVIDIA's GPS. How Cerebras just broke AI speed records. For years, GPUs have been the backbone of AI computing. Reasoning. NVIDIA's Complex chips dominate the industry, and AI powering everything tasks. from ChatGPT to MidJourney. But while GPUs are undeniably powerful, they come with a fundamental flaw. They weren't originally designed for AI inference. Traditional AI workloads require immense memory bandwidth and ultra-fast data transfers, demands that GPUs built for graphic processing struggle to meet. This creates bottlenecks that slow down AI computation. And as AI models grow more complex, these limitations become even more apparent. Cerebras has tackled this problem with an entirely new approach. Instead of using clusters of smaller chips like GPUs, the company developed the world's largest AI processor on a single wafer-scale chip. 
This design eliminates the inefficiencies caused by transferring data between multiple GPU units, allowing entire AI models to run on a single massive processor without delays. The result? A dramatic speed boost. When running DeepSeek R1, Cerebra's AI processor achieves 1,600 tokens per second, compared to just 28 tokens per second on NVIDIA GPUs. That's a staggering 57 times increase in speed. And it's not just about DeepSeek. Benchmarks show that Cerebra's wafer scale technology outperforms OpenAI's GPT-4 and other leading AI models across multiple key areas, including mathematical reasoning, complex question answering, and AI coding tasks. Even when compared to Groke, another company specializing in ultra-fast AI inference, Cerebra's is still six times faster. Against traditional GPU-based solutions like NVIDIA, it's nearly 100 times faster. With such a massive performance leap, one question remains. If this technology is so superior, why hasn't NVIDIA responded? The $600 billion meltdown, NVIDIA's dominance and jeopardy. The AI industry runs on hardware, and for the past decade, NVIDIA has dominated this space. Companies have spent billions on NVIDIA's GPUs to power everything from AI research to self-driving cars. Their chips have been the default choice for machine learning and artificial intelligence, making NVIDIA the most valuable semiconductor company in the world. But the emergence of DeepSeek R1, combined with Cerebra's ability to run at record speed, according to reports, has shaken investor confidence in NVIDIA's dominance. As news broke that DeepSeek was outperforming models from OpenAI and Google, investors realized that GPUs might not be the best option for AI computing anymore. The market reacted instantly, and NVIDIA's stock saw its biggest value loss in history, $600 billion wiped out. This signals a much bigger shift in the AI industry. For years, NVIDIA relied on the assumption that GPUs were the only viable option for AI workloads. But now, companies like Cerebrus are proving that dedicated AI chips are faster, cheaper, and more efficient. Specialized AI processors are showing significant performance advantages, challenging the GPU-centric model that has dominated AI infrastructure for years. This isn't just about one AI model or one company. It's about the entire future of how AI is run. If GPUs are no longer the go-to choice for AI inference, NVIDIA will have to pivot quickly or risk losing its stronghold on the AI hardware market. So what does this mean for NVIDIA's future? Can they adapt to this new wave of AI hardware innovation? Or are we witnessing the beginning of a major shift away from GPUs? And more importantly, what does this mean for the future of AI itself? AI adoption isn't just about speed and efficiency anymore. It's about who controls the data. With growing concerns over data privacy, government surveillance, and cybersecurity, many businesses have been hesitant to integrate Chinese AI models into their workflow. The issue isn't just theoretical. In recent years, U.S. lawmakers have cracked down on Chinese technology over concerns about data misuse. ByteDance, the parent company of TikTok, has faced repeated scrutiny over how it handles user data, leading to multiple bans and legal battles. The same concerns now apply to AI models like DeepSeek. Now, this is where Cerebrase changes the game. By hosting DeepSeek R1 entirely on U.S. soil, Cerebrase is bypassing China's control, complex giving companies a way to access DeepSeek's AI powerful AI tasks. capabilities without security risks. James Wang, a senior executive at Cerebris described it as taking back AI supremacy, suggesting that while China has made major advances in AI, the U.S. now has an opportunity to reclaim leadership in the space. And this isn't just about business. It's about global AI dominance. The AI race is no longer just about who builds the fastest models. It's about who owns the infrastructure, who controls the data, and which country sets the rules. With companies like Cerebris, OpenAI, and Grok developing cutting-edge AI chips and hosting solutions, the U.S. is positioning itself as a leader in AI innovation without reliance on foreign technology.
But the bigger question remains. Are GPUs still the future of AI? Or is this the moment where specialized AI chips take over? For years, AI development was built around GPUs. Companies spent billions of dollars acquiring NVIDIA's chips, believing they were the only viable option for training and running AI models. NVIDIA's dominance in the AI space seemed unshakable, with its GPUs powering everything from research labs to large-scale AI deployments. But Cerebrus just proved that might no longer be the case. With its wafer-scale AI processor, Cerebrus has shown that specialized AI chips can be faster, more efficient, and cheaper than traditional GPUs. Rather than relying on clusters of GPUs that create memory bottlenecks, Cerebra's single-chip architecture eliminates inefficiencies, providing a significant speed boost for AI inference. And it's not just them. Tech giants like Google, Amazon, and Microsoft are also developing their own AI-specific processors, moving away from the NVIDIA-dominated GPU ecosystem. Google has TPUS, Tensor Processing Units, designed specifically for machine learning workloads. Amazon has Trainium and Inferentia, AI chips built for cloud-based AI inference. Microsoft has Maya, AI chips built to power its own AI ecosystem. The shift is clear. OI is moving towards specialized hardware. So what does this mean for NVIDIA? If AI companies stop relying to on reports, GPUs, it NVIDIA could just lose one. its biggest market. Right now, the company still dominates AI training, but as AI inference becomes more efficient and widespread, companies are looking for faster and cheaper alternatives, and the competition is moving fast. In just a few years, Cerebrus, Grok, and other AI chip startups have leapfrogged GPUs in performance. If NVIDIA doesn't pivot soon, they could find themselves losing ground in the AI space. But can they develop a competing AI-specific chip before these newer companies take over? That's the billion-dollar question. One thing is clear. NVIDIA is no longer untouchable. For years, GPUs were the default choice for AI, powering everything from ChatGPT to Tesla's self-driving cars. Their dominance in AI computing was unquestioned with billions poured into GPU-based infrastructure. But what happens next? We're about to witness an AI hardware arms race. The U.S.-China AI competition is accelerating, with data sovereignty becoming a key issue. As AI capabilities advance, the question of who controls the technology and where data is processed will become even more critical. Companies like Cerebrus are leading the charge proving that specialized AI chips can outperform traditional GPUs in both speed and efficiency. But the battle is far from over. NVIDIA still has a strong foothold in AI training, and the company could pivot to develop its own AI-specific chips. Meanwhile, other players like Google, Amazon, and Microsoft are investing heavily in their own AI hardware, creating a fragmented but highly competitive market. The future of AI is no longer just about software. It's about hardware innovation. And as the race heats up, one thing is certain. The companies that can deliver faster, cheaper, and more efficient AI solutions will dominate the next era of artificial intelligence. Whether it's NVIDIA, Cerebras, or a new player entirely, the stakes have it's never been higher. Complex question answering the AI revolution AI is here. Contest and it's being powered by a new generation of chips that are rewriting the rules of the game.